said, they sent me to a different school and I'm having problem in another school. Earlier this week at a Portland public school meeting, custodian Malak Elker quit after only a month working for Oregon's largest school district. Here's my card, my keys. She claims she faced sexual harassment at two different schools. First, at Jackson Middle School, where Elker says a fellow custodian continued to ask her to come to his car during breaks. She told her supervisor of the harassment who brought the issues to her manager. Elker says her manager told her not to go to HR and that they would handle the situation in-house. So every day I go to different break rooms, uh, teachers break room hiding away from him. But the problem didn't improve. Elker says after a week of harassment, she emailed HR. A school district spokeswoman says the district received Elker's email on June 22nd and began an investigation immediately. A district official responded right away and interviewed Elker the next day. At her request, the district moved her to a different school, Lincoln High School. But there, Elker says her new supervisor harassed her, continually asking her out to movies. And he kept asking and asking and asking and asking and asking, like not once a day, a lot of times. Portland Public School says Elker's claim is under investigation and that the district moved quickly once they heard the allegations. In a statement, Portland Public School says it will continue to actively and thoroughly investigate any and all reports of sexual harassment. Custodian Gabe Pank is a union steward and says he has heard of several women who have been sexually harassed. Especially in the last couple of months, people have been coming forward talking about the sexual harassment they've been facing, repeated comments uh, uh, from, from other custodians, um, from supervisors, asking them out repeatedly. District officials say they have asked Pink to meet four times, but have not heard back. Fellow custodian Annika Peterson couldn't meet me today for an interview, but told me via text message she's also experienced harassment on the job. She said a fellow custodian yelled at her and acted like she was dumb because she was a young woman while working at Odyssey Middle School. Peterson says she notified her manager and begged to be transferred to another school. Eventually, her manager switched her hours from 4 to 10 p.m. to 10 to 6 p.m. and transferred her to another school. She told him she couldn't work that shift because she had class in the mornings. The next day, she was fired. Teachers in the district have also complained of sexual harassment. So there are um, multiple members right now that we are advocating for with sexual harassment cases. One special education teacher filed a complaint with the Oregon Bureau of Labor and Industries, saying a coworker would touch her shoulder, arms, and head without consent. She alleges this went on from January 2022 until November of that year. In another case, a teacher at Kellogg Middle School alleged the district repeatedly failed to deal with harassment and disciplined the victim for reporting sexual harassment. It's sending a message that a culture of silence is just um, the norm.